So you stayed in the team hotel. So you would have been around yeah. them day in, day out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What do you want to know? I'm um, just, you're, you're retired four or five years at that stage. It was, it was Jack's suggestion that you stay in the team hotel. Oh, yeah, stay in the team hotel. I'm, I trained every day. And I said to him, look, I can't run. He said, ah, oh, don't worry about it. He said, just join in. Because that, that, you know what he was like. Was there anyone um, else joining in? No. There was, there, was, there was only me. There was only me daft enough to do so with one leg. And the shadowing. But, uh, so ahead of, say, the Italy game, is he saying to you, so we're going to play Tommy Coyne up front. You're going to be, so you're going to be marking Tommy Coyne. You pretend you're Franco Baresi here, Mark. You, 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 you go with Franco Baresi's mannerism so Tommy can prepare himself for the challenge that awaits him. I'd, I'd have rather you said Maldini. <laughs> But I'll let you, I'll let you off. No, he just is typical. You know what he's like. It was it was rough and gruff. One he went, he went, Mark, just play there. You play there. Play next to Babsy, and that that was it. And it was you know it's just shadow as much as anything. It was just it was team shape for the team against you know the boys who who weren't going to start obviously and me and and at one stage Albert Reynolds. You're about what forty five or forty six, and none of the players turning around going, what's Lauro doing here? Uh, no, 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 the boys are great. The boys, and of course... <laughs> He's brought the Guinness. Little... Why wouldn't he be here? Well, listen, the, the other thing about the Guinness is, in the hotel, I had two rooms. Uh, they, were, they were big rooms anyway, and one room was full of Guinness things, T-shirts, all hats, caps, absolutely everything. Honestly, you could hardly get in the door. And that was the other thing, when the Guinness guy said, here's your extra money, do what you want with all the stuff. And I said, well... I'll, I'll have to give it away. So that, so I'm not bothered. Do what you want. So basically, I got all the cameramen and most of the journos, and I just said, come into my room, at, you know, in an hour, and, like, come and raid it and take whatever you want. So it, it worked, and the boys had loads of stuff as well. So they, they were really good because they they were good down, you know, when they, when they were allowed to go out for a beer, and they wouldn't wear uh, Opal. They'd wear Guinness stuff. So it was, uh, it was happy days for everybody.